My name's John Beaver. I'm a DJ slash zookeeper, and um, I just basically fell in love with music. Connection is my job as a musician, is connecting people with the music that I play. The same exact thing as a zookeeper. My job is to connect people with these animals that I work with. Her name's Kangili. She's an African spurred tortoise. One of her favorite things to eat are weeds. Very good tortoise. So come on in here. Working with animals comes second nature to me. There's just something peaceful and calming. It's kind of like my zen. There's so much pressure for me to be a good artist and to be successful. When I go into the zoo, I'm able just to kind of like shut off and not really have to worry about that. I went to my first, I guess you would call it rave, dance music concert, let's see, probably 18 years ago now. I grew up on rock music, hip hop music, and walked in there and saw people dancing, celebrating life, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? I wanna be a part of this. And so I went home and I bought turntables and bought some records. We used to spin vinyl records and immediately started playing that. As a DJ, I have to cater to everyone. I have to cater to the people that are just going out. I have to cater to the people that are there nitpicking my set and listening for their favorite song and how I'm changing their favorite song. I try to figure out how to make my mom happy when I'm playing my music and make my boss happy, make my raver friends happy, make the clubbers happy. It's kind of finding a balance and being able to put on the best performance and show that you possibly can. Being able to bring us all together is what I'm trying to do with my music. The music is always shifting. Over the past years, it's gone into dubstep, it's gone into house, it's gone into trap music, tropical house, mid-tempo is like the current hot thing. But in everything that I play, I try to be current with the style and play what everyone likes, but I keep true to my sound and that happy, upbeat, trancey vibe. You'll find that in everything that I play. One of the secrets of being a very successful DJ is being able to read and judge your crowd. When I play one song, I'm seeing if they're liking that style, if they're liking the sounds, and then if it's kind of working, I'll kind of build on that. And then always, I'll completely switch it up because nowadays, crowds don't have a big attention span. And so you gotta catch their attention, you gotta bang that out, hit them with that style and sound, and then completely switch it up. It would be easier to create my sets beforehand, but it just takes the fun out of it. Like, I don't wanna be that guy that goes up there and just pushes play. I still love the art form of DJing, taking two records and mixing them together. I'm passionate about this and I love doing this. Cleaning time. Well, my day job. Basically, I am responsible for the care and management and education of all the animals that we work with in our zoo. The ones that have been here around just as long as I have, those are the ones that are kind of special to me. They're kind of my little buddies and the plover over there I've been friends with for a very long time. My job as a zookeeper is to educate the public and show people what these animals are, connect them with the animal, and give these animals a purpose. Like a lot of these animals need to be saved, they're endangered, they're going ex extinct, and people don't really care about what they don't know about. So we have the lemurs, we have squirrel monkeys, and we have capuchin monkeys. These are our squirrel monkeys. This is the last animal that we're checking on for the day. All of them look bright and alert. I think they're ready. I see other people around me that are down, um, going through problems, and I think my calling in life is to help inspire people to be positive and have a good outlook. With uh, all the medical problems that, that I've had in my life, my life has not been a, a daisy. 
I had ulcers when I was eight years old and I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis and just many hospitalizations, just sick. My mom used to find me on the bathroom floor curled up because my stomach would be uh, hurting so bad. And then it came back full blown, worse than ever when I was like 28 years old. And basically out of these ulcers in my stomach grew cancer. And so I ended up getting cancer and uh, they had to remove practically all of my colon because the cancer was in there. They got it all out, thank God. And then came the worst battle that I ever had to fight in my life, which was chemotherapy. But thanks to so many messages, people around me inspiring me saying, you know what, you're gonna get through this. I was able to get through it. And that just comes to, to where I am today. I want to be that person that inspires other people through hard times. I do mashups. I'm kind of known as a mashup DJ. Before I play a show, I'll spend days of getting ready for it in the studio. So I kind of have this general idea of songs that I want to play. I like to start hard, strong, be like, wow, here's John Beaver, let's go. And then I like to leave people with the wow. That was an amazing experience at the end of the set. Okay, so with that one, the transition worked, but my last track had tons of drums. And so it dropped in to the new track and it doesn't have the drums that will keep the crowd dancing. If I wanna play this track, I need to edit it in order to make it seem fuller with more drums. I'm pretty much remixing it, recreating it how I think it would be better put together. And so the way that the track drops in, I'll show you right here, it, it's really, there's no not much drums in it. I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna try to move it over here to where it drops in. So much stronger. When it drops in, it's just got more drums and the crowd will immediately be into the track more. So right now, my liver is severely damaged and so I ended up with sclerosis of the liver. The cancer's gone, thank God, but now we're in a fight for my life with the liver problem. I have to have a liver transplant, but I need to be cancer free for five years before I can be on the list for that. And so I'm two years out right now and I have three more years to go. I just take each day as it comes and live each day to the fullest. And you know, I woke up today and I'm gonna give this day my best shot and I'll worry about tomorrow when it gets here. There's ups and downs and there's rough times in life. It's easy to be happy when everything is going good, but then when you are having trouble in your life and you're still able to maintain a positive outlook and be happy, my goal is to help teach people how to do that. Everything I do is filled with love. You know, from the moment that I wake up, I try to be happy, influence other people, and be a positive inspiration to others. You could affect the world and change everyone around you just by thinking about what you do and the impact that you have on others in a positive way.